Hey guys, what is up? Ewan here, and today I'm just going to show you a little bit about the vertex um, option in the in the shader and how to change uh, your vertices in the shader graph. Now, it isn't going to be a full tutorial, I'm just going to explain it a little and show a couple of things that you can do, but nothing too uh, advanced. So, let me just drag over the shader. So this shader is currently attached to the cube. You may remember this project just from the example node tutorial. But we're going to have just a couple of nice simple things. So the first thing that you need to know is this is your vertices. This takes the vertex that you're currently at and whatever you do to it you put in here so the first thing you need to do is get the position and um, position of objects so this is getting your vertice uh, on the object now I'm gonna do something very simple I'm just gonna scale this up so I'm gonna have scale with the position, I'm just going to have a multiply node here, throw the two together, and throw it into the master, save that. So now, when we go to the cube, we can scale it using our uh, shader. So that's the scaling, you can do a couple of other things really quickly with um, shader graph um, one of the things is that I found looked kind of cool um, was adding some noise to it so what I would do is let me drag this off here I would uh, split this up into multiple things and just have um, a noise. Let's go for gradient noise and for each one I'm gonna have a multiply node. One, two, three. And then for each position on the vertex drag this down and drag the output as the uh, second thing you're multiplying it by and then simply take the outputs of them stick them into your vector 3 throw this into position and now you're going to be getting um, something kind of weird if we give this all a minute to update, it should be updating. Maybe if we put it on a sphere, it will show us more. There we go. That's exactly. So this is changed it into a little weird ball. And yeah. So as you can see, it's really easy to edit it in shader, whether you're just doing a simple water effect or lava effect like I've done in previous videos, or you just want to change it up a little. Uh, it's a fun thing to mess around with. And uh, if you're willing to write your own custom notes, I don't see why you could not um, make your own procedural planets and stuff like that on shader graph. So, Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully I've shown you guys a little bit more about the vertex option and just how easy it is to change the vertices using Shader Graph. Uh, please leave a, a like if you like it. Uh, comment below what you'd like to see me do next and uh, subscribe. So see you guys next time.